Hi, Stephanie Abrams here, dashing through the airport. I'm going on an adventure. I've got my backpack, I've got my laptop, I've got my traveling shoes on. Come along with me. I have been warned in advance not to quit my day job. However, I'm going to make a great attempt to see how much I can learn and how much we can share with you about authentic preparation of wonderful Greek and Mediterranean food. And I am with the executive chef of Celestial Cruises on the Celestial Olympia, just outside of Rhodes, one of the Greek islands. And I am with Yanis Korologos, who is the executive chef, who is such a patient and wonderful mm -hmm. man, because who else, who else would put up with me? So thank you very much. I appreciate Welcome. your... Thank you. What do we do? What are we making? Today we do some uh, local recipes from Creta. And uh, one uh, summer recipe, uh, modern style, let's say modern style, with uh, shrimps and uh, whole wheat spaghetti. And of okay. course, the most famous Greek dip, tzatziki. I love tzatziki. Okay. All right. Where do we start? Let's start. First we do uh, one uh, recipe with a bread rask. This is made in Creta, as you see. It's barley rask. Barley rask. Yes, it's Got very it. dry. Yes. Okay. So we need to, to wet a little bit in the water. All right. So what is water here? While you're pouring the water, I see there are... This is for Petra Salad. I see there are pomegranates here. Yes, yes. And pomegranates are plentiful in Greece. Yes, plentiful in Greece, that we use as a juice, also as a balsamic, uh, in a balsamic vinegar, also as topic in the salad. Yeah, they're so beautiful when you open yes. them. Yes, it's like opening beautiful. a jewel. Yeah, yeah beautiful. it's amazing. Gloves. Gloves, as always. Gloves. Yes. All right. <laughs> if you want the food to be safe, you don't bring me near a kitchen. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. Oh, aren't these pretty? What a pretty yeah. tray. Yes, a nice beautiful tray. Now, what do we do? So, we we'll open the water. For a few seconds, because how many of these are we doing? Two, one more. Oh, that's the bottom. Yeah. Oh, they're hard like a rock. Yeah, that's, that's so it's necessary to. Is it because of the nature of the um, the barley rusk? Is it the nature of the barley, the, the ingredients, or is it stale? The ingredients. Has it been sitting around for a long time? Yes, yes. How long? Minimum four or five hours in the high temperatures until it become. In Grand four or five, this is like a bread you leave out stale for two weeks. It's, yes, you could yes. kill somebody you yes. throw this at them. It's, it's, it's very hard, actually. Yeah, no kidding. Yes. Okay. Now, we have some tomato. 
That's beautiful. We'll give the tomato. Yeah, this this looks like what you put on uh, bruschetta. Yes, actually beautiful. the the Greek version of bruschetta. So what? It's just the tomatoes crushed, or is uh, there something else? Olive oil yeah, or something in it? Of course, of course, olive oil. Olive oil, crushed tomato, olive oil. Okay, yeah. So pepper. Just a touch. Okay. Little pepper. Yes. For my grandmother, there was never enough pepper. Really? Yeah, by the time she was finished stopping by the pot to taste and taste and taste. Chopped and onion. Every time she added pepper, by the time you ate it, your hair would stand up. Chopped onion. And she would still be saying, there's not enough pepper in this. Really? Yeah, she liked her pepper. Oil. Okay, so is this... Olive oil, virgin, extra virgin, yes, super yes, duper, extra yes. virgin, extra, virgin, extra, extra virgin. Okay. Actually, in Greece, we are very proud for the olive oil we put down. So let's turn around so you can see. Yes. It's Greek olive oil. Yes. No kidding around, people. Yes. People in Greece are very serious about yeah. their olive oil. Yeah, you see the color. Where do I put this? Where did this come from? Over there. Over here. There you go. Yes. Thank you. What's your name? Alex. Nice to Another one. Yes. If it's not George, it's Alex. Okay. Yes. There's some Arabic vinegar. Just a drop. Literally. Yeah. Okay. A touch. And right, now what happens? Now, this is the the recipe is named is the Cretan tacos. In Mykonos, they call it mostra, which we mix it well. That's the basic. We mix it well. So it's so, just olive oil, tomato, tomatoes, salt, onion, and pepper, little chopped onion. onion. Yeah. Okay. We top. The barley rusk. On top the barley rusk. Yeah. It's one of the most famous egg Greek appetizer for summer time. Now... Oh, that smells so good. Yeah. Now, here there is a little variety on topping. So, we do one. We're using octopus. This is boiled octopus. Octopus? Octopus, yes. This is a very popular octopus also. I'm coming back as an octopus in my next life. <laughs> I need to have eight arms. Two are not enough. <laughs> okay. okay. But I don't want to be made into a salad or a dinner or no, anything. No. no. Just right. it. Simple. A very simple recipe. Octopus. Okay. Octopus. octopus. Now, was that already steamed or cooked or yes, something? Yes, we cook. We cook. We boil How? it with uh, water, bay leaf, vinegar. Water, bay leaf, vinegar, to bring it to a yes. boil. How long yes. do you boil it? Until soft. Depends the the octopus. Until soft. Okay. Actually. Here we do some paper. Capers. Top. Yes. Aromatic. They they like to escape. Yes. This yes. one's running away. Okay. No, they can't run away. They have to stay. That's the rule. Okay. okay. Now the second one. Have some pepper tea. Oh, beautiful. Is the most famous drink tea. Mm. Yeah, but it's better in the in Greece than it is in the U.S. It is rare when I get feta in the U.S. that tastes like feta in Greece. Oh, how pretty! So you just crumble it on. Go watch version, the first yes. episode of Travel TV with Stephanie Abrams Malta. You'll meet Narsi Kalamata. He's named for this olive. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll put some oregano on top. All right, oregano. Yes. Or oregano, as they say in the UK. Yes, oregano is the same UK. Now. Oh, that smells wonderful. Yes. Mm. And again, olive oil on top. As you see, we use olive oil plenty. Okay, so let me ask a question here. Uh, yes. These wonderful crew here. Can you see this? Maybe I should tip it a little bit. I tip it too much, it goes sliding out. There it goes sliding. So, can you see? Okay. Also, can add also a fresh, a fresh, fine. fresh oregano. Fine, fresh thyme also. Fine, a fresh, yes. fine oregano. Okay. Flavor is important. Let me do. Of course. Yes. So you just like crumble it? Yes, and yes. Mine isn't good. <laughs> that's, that's very good. 
Like this. My head isn't crumbling off. The, oh, so you really have to give a good schlep on it. Okay. Yeah. okay. A little good schlepping. Yeah. It still doesn't want to come off. Okay, you're better at this than I am. That's why I'm not giving up my day job. Okay, there we go. And this goes... Oh, good. This is two versions of Cretan tacos. Or now they are, we can use for topic other kind of cheese. Like Anthotiro cheese, like Sinomizitra cheese. Sinomizitra cheese looks like a fresh made cheese, looks like a sour cottage cheese. Okay, like okay. sour cottage cheese, yeah. it looks. Yes. Oh, ricotta cheese. Okay, yes. I got it. Yeah, okay. I had the accent okay. on the wrong syllable there. Okay. okay. So, so now what happens? Now we make the dadiki. Now, but hold on a minute. Yes. Is the olive oil that's on top of that going to make that soft, or are you going to do something else? Because you could lose your teeth biting into that. No, now it's soft. You know, Why? because a all all the juice, the water tomato. and the oil. Yeah, got it. The okay. Tomato, the tomato juice and the tomato juice. Inside. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. As you see now how how we put a lot of olive oil, correct? And now the olive oil almost disappeared. Yes. This, this bread is like a, now become like a sponge. Consume all the oh, okay. juice, all the flavor. Okay. Where where do we get this bread to start with? You bake it here, or you can do. No, this is uh, we buy from Creta for specific. Uh, Bakeries. Crete. Yes. From Crete. From Crete, yeah. All right. Also People, you have to find a good Greek bakery if you're going to yeah. do this. Also, let's say if you cannot find it, you can make your own whole wheat bread. You whole wheat bread. Yes. Got it. Whole wheat bagels, people. That's yeah. what you start with. So, Got it. All right. Yeah. So you put in the oven. You turn on the oven about eight, 180 system degrees. You, you cook slowly. And then you, you slow down and you leave it inside. And it becomes a rasp. Okay, 180 Celsius degrees. Yes, and you that's my first five, problem. Six minutes, and then you you turn off the oven and you leave it inside. Oh, well, that looks gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, and go then, go do a little go to Google converter to find yeah. out what is 180 Celsius degrees hmm. in Fahrenheit. Then you'll know it's, it's probably going to be like 320 or something. Yeah. Or? Like it's very high temperature. Oh, it's higher. It, it's it could higher. be over 400 then. Yes. Go, go look it up, because I don't know. All okay. right. Okay. Now, we could do it with a tzatziki. Tzatziki. Yes. Ah. It's the most... I can make whole meals out of mm. tzatziki. Keep everything yes. else. I just eat the tzatziki. It's the most uh, famous Greek uh, beef. Here we do, there are a lot of verses. Here we do the original one. Okay. Tzatziki is a part of meza dishes. Meza dishes are like similar to two Spanish tapas. So... There is only appetizers and small side dishes. Okay. So you have a selection for five different dishes. So you can, I mean, you can Got try it. all. All right. So So that's yogurt. Yog Greek yogurt. Plain Greek, Greek yogurt. yogurt. As you see, it's no very... No flavoring. Just Greek no, no, no. Just Greek plain right. yogurt. As you see, it's very thick. Yeah, it's almost like... Uh, yes. It's like almost a, like... Cream, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's no cream cheese. Wow. It's, you know, it's because of double strain it. Okay. Okay, they strain it. So, so what do we got there? So what is that? That's about maybe two cups? More. More Let's than say two a cups. More. Oh, this is like cooking with my grandmother. It's like, yeah. you know, some of this, some of that. Yes. All right. Apple sauce to... That's even more. Same thing. Yes. Yogurt. Okay. Well, Let's I say it's a I'm 70 I'm... grams, okay? 700 grams, 600 yeah, grams. 600 grams, people. Okay. Go do your conversion. Mm, yes. So here. Looks like about... Yes. Three cups, maybe. Yeah. Maybe four. Yes. Here we have grated... Grated cucumber. cucumber. Yeah. Cucumber. Grated cucumber. Okay. Now I what do we do? We uh, squeeze? Yes, we squeeze. Okay, so what do we, hold on. What do we squeeze? Just That's squeeze? Like, yes. Just and squeeze. The, the moisture comes out. I can feel of it course. coming out. Of I can't course. see it. Oh, there is a little coming out. Of course. That's okay. okay, is that good enough? Yes. Okay, I throw it in? Yes. One more. One more. Handful of grated... Mm. Yeah. Cucumber. Very good. Very Squeeze good. out the order. Yeah. Drop it in. Very good. Okay. Now okay. what? You can add more. You can leave it up, on, up onto your personal space. How much? Okay. Good. We'll put in some more. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Very Squeeze good. out the water. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. And, we're, we're, and then what are we going to do next? Next, we add garlic. This also up to up to your face. I believe it's not. Oh, I'm sure. 
All right, well, while we do some stirring, stay with me. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back, and we may do some other things, and you'll check back with us and see how we're doing with our tzatziki. Don't leave me. So much more to come. Stay tuned. Don't leave me. I want to welcome you back to Yanni's and Stephanie's Kitchen. It's here, look at this background view. It's here aboard the Celestial Olympia ship. We are still at the dock here in Rhodes, in Greece, and we're making tzatziki, one of my very favorite Greek dishes. While we prepare the next step, have a look around Greece with me. So far we have three to four cups of natural, beautiful Greek yogurt. We've got probably, we've got three handfuls <laughs> of um, grated cucumber that we squeeze the moisture out of with my hands. And uh, probably I'd say two teaspoons uh, of garlic, minced garlic. Now what happens next? Yes. Oh, yes. and I, I'm with Yanis. Coralago, so I've got that yes. right? Who is the yes. executive chef here on board? Dill. Dill. Fresh yes. dill. Fresh dill. Oh, there's nothing like fresh dill, people. Mm. Okay. What a lovely smell. Then, salt and pepper. Okay, so that's about a teaspoon of salt. Yes, that's it. Touch of pepper. And about mm, half a teaspoon yes. of pepper. A little bit of red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar, about a teaspoon also. Okay. And now, olive oil. Again, curry garlic. Greek olive oil, people. Extra Ask vegetables. the Greeks. It's the only yes. kind. So now what do I do? I just sprinkle, sprinkle? Just add it. Just add it. Say when. This is a lot of olive oil. No, no. It's okay. Yeah? Yes. I'm figuring we're at about a quarter of a cup at this point. Now it's okay. And now it's okay? That yes. looks like maybe half a cup. Yes. This is honestly like cooking with my grandmother. Here, thank you. Yes. And thank now you, Alex. we stir it up. Okay, yes. stir it up. Yes. Stir it up. Yes. Okay. I feel like I love Lucy. You remember her yes. in the kitchen? Okay, so I'm going to stir it up. It's very simple dish. Fresh dish. Ah, yes. hundred years ago, you can catch it on cable, there was a TV show called I Love Joan, and she gets a job in a French restaurant and she's trying to learn from the French chef, and so she's singing as she goes, prepare the pomme de terre, do, do, do. prepare the pomme de terre. This is not pomme de terre. This is tzatziki in the making. Oh. So, so we're stirring up, looks like half a cup of olive oil, um, three big handfuls, yeah, it has disappeared, three big handfuls of um, squozed out to get the Moisture out of grated uh, cucumber, a um, little bit of minced garlic, yes. a little bit of fresh and know, dill, and that's it. It's done? And done. That's it. Oh, I'm doing okay. this at home. Of course. It's very easy. Very so easy. now we make it pretty. We can make it pretty, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
A okay. little salt, a little pepper. Yes. That's it. We add. That was easy. Very oh, and what a lovely dish for summer to accompany anything. Or I have to tell you, this is the best lunch in the whole world. Yes. Oh, we have a yes. a, 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 a fresh well, dill olive. tree now growing in the middle. Olive. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to do it this way. All so right. olives. So hold on, hold on, hold on. May? Yes, of course. Okay, so here we go. Alex, I need one more olive. Where are they? Olives. Oh, here, here. Olives. Okay, maybe I'll take two. Two olives now covered in yogurt. I hope that yes, the big smile. There we go. Okay, so Clean now you up. make it beautiful. Yes. Clean. The, is I, the captain better not come by now because I cannot shake his hand. Okay. Okay. Clean properly. Okay. And again, olive oil on top. You see the color? Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Pink. That's it. All right. So now let me turn this so you can see my tzatziki's face. Yes. Amazing. There we go. He reminds me of Wilson, the tennis ball. Yes. The um, smiley face. Basketball. Okay. You're, you're beautiful, Wilson. Okay. We have to give him a, a Greek name now. He can't be called Wilson. <laughs> Can't be Nicholas. No, no. Nicholas. No, but go into a a room full of Greek people and just say George. <laughs> Ninety percent of the room will answer you. All right, yes. where are we at? Okay. Now. Oh, we're we're getting well onto uh, being very well fed over there. Yeah. What's next? Next, we we'll do one amazing salad. So we have color, we have red. That's beautiful. Yeah. Some green scallion. Okay. Now, if you're from the north in America, you call the scallions. And if you're from the south, you call it green onions. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. When I moved, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland. And when we moved to the north, I was about nine, ten years old. It was amazing that things I knew had very different names. That was one of them. All right. Okay. Now. Now what? Have some fresh herbs. Thyme. This is fresh thyme. Fresh thyme. Yes. We're missing parsley, sage, and rosemary. Yeah. But they're coming for dinner, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. We have place settings for them. Okay. Fine. Beautiful. We all use fresh A lot of meat. Can we get? a good shot of this watermelon basket yeah. overflowing with parsley and and mint and mint. thyme. Oh, the mint. Look at the mint. Yes. Oh, you have to love mint. But in this, and tomatoes. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Cuisine, uh, Lovely. You're ahead of me. You got the mint already. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And, but look at this beautiful watermelon basket just to yeah. have all the beautiful. Fresh oregano. Yes. I got a present in my cabin here yeah. on the Celestial Olympia. Yeah. A little bottle of Greek olive oil. Um, a little package, I forget what, and the other little package is oregano, and I'm nervous about taking it through customs. They're going to think I'm carrying marijuana. We'll oh, see. No. <laughs> well, no. Wills, I looked at that, I said, I'm in trouble here. All right. Actually, oregano is the, one of the most popular uh, herb in Greece. We use almost everywhere. Well, the first time I ever had real Greek French fries yes. with lemon and oregano. Lemon and oregano. Oh, is, uh, to set your heart to singing, it's so delicious. Some salt, very too much. Do you use sea salt? Yes. This is sea salt. Oh, a few attached vinegar, balsamic vinegar. Okay. I'm always nervous about the vin vinegar part. Yeah. Because if you use too much, it takes over. You didn't use very much. That's wonderful. I don't use, I don't use yeah. too much because it's very strong. It's well, very yeah, you know, I, that, that, I generally have dressings that don't have vinegar because when I have vinegar, it feels like somebody is tightening screws behind my ears. <laughs> Better to put less than more. Ah, than yes. Okay. So. I love the dish. 
This is beautiful. I'll tell you something else. The salads on this ship come out from the kitchen to the table like a work of art with the the purple lettuce or cabbage yeah, or whatever, the onion, beautiful. whatever that is, yeah. and then the dark green lettuce, and then the light green, the Romano yeah. lettuce, and um, the, um, you know, all the, yeah. the, the tomatoes and cucumbers, whatever. But it's all, every single piece is so, nothing's just, yeah, so, have good, uh, very good so carefully and artistically put, I've taken pictures, they're beautiful. You can find it at my Facebook and online in my blog, people. The, the salads are truly a work of art. Okay, pomegranate time. My turn, too. Yeah. I love pomegranates. Yeah. We only get them in the fall, so I guess they're like a... I mean, you know, usually we see pomegranates uh, coming in around October, I want to say. September, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, pomegranate, you see, you know, especially in the old house in Greece, everyone has a job. He has one pomegranate tree because it uh, reminds good luck, good health, uh, good to the family. It's, it's a symbol of. Uh, I think our weather is too cold to have pomegranate trees. Our weather yeah. is too cold to have people, so, frankly. Oh, how pretty. Here yeah, we use a lot of fresh uh, herbs, we use a lot of fresh leaves. We buy arugula twice per week, we buy baby romaine twice per week. Baby spinach twice per week. All the fresh we use every three days must consume and we renew. Wow. Always. So, so a simple salad, pepper salad. That's gorgeous. Yes. And let me, hang on. Let's see if we can do this without letting it slide. Can you see well? Yes? It's okay. getting wet. You didn't see that. <laughs> you missed that part. You didn't see that. There you go. All right. All right. There's more things here, no? Yeah. Last we do our now one hard dish. Okay. We do spaghetti, whole wheat spaghetti, cherry tomato, shrimp, feta cheese, chili flakes, and duzo. Oh, oh, oh. This is one again the most famous uh, characteristic uh, Greek liqueur. And the way you do this is yeah. while you're preparing, you yeah. take a big tall glass. And while you're cooking here and you're preparing this with Uzo, you fill the glass with Uzo and you drink it and then you won't care how it turns out. <laughs> oh, I'm with Executive Chef Yanis on the Celestial Olympia. We're still at port in Rhodes, one of the wonderful and historic Greek islands. And we're going to take a quick break and come right back. Don't leave me. We have so much more to visit and talk about. Don't leave me. Stephanie Abrams here. I am here with Yanis Korologos. Do I have that right? Correct, correct. Very good. Who is the executive chef on board the Celestial Olympia, who is a very patient man to put up with me and my antics. And we are doing some cooking for what could easily turn out to be a wonderful meal because we're coming down the pike here with our special, what is that again? Cretan tacos, tzatziki, and cretan rask salad. Okay. Inspired by Crete. Here we go. So. Olive oil. Is it my imagination or are we moving? Yeah, we're moving. We're moving. All right. A little something added to this. We've now pulled away from the dock in Rhodes in Greece. And we're on to Santorini while we're busy cooking. I'm going to take you on a little visual tour while we're mixing and stirring. So we've got olive oil, we've heated the pan. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's already going sizzle, sizzle. Yeah. So we've heated the pan and we're putting in minced onion and a bay leaf. One bay leaf, yes. Right. Anybody who's ever used Old Bay seasoning 
You can't make crabs in Maryland without Old Bay seasoning. My mother used to have to import it from Maryland to New York because she couldn't get it in New York. So if she was making shrimp or crabs or whatever, had to have that Old Bay seasoning which has bay leaves in it. So now it's all simmering up together. You put some garlic in, okay? And here come the here come the shrimps. Very simple recipe. So, any shrimps that I have ever seen prepared mm -hmm. in my mother's kitchen would have first been cooked and deveined down the back. Yeah. But this is the whole thing here you've got. Yes, yeah, a small one. It's been much small. After bigger, we have to open the back to clean better. Okay. This is a small one. Already okay. You know this, this thing. As you see. So when they get pink, we know they're cooked? That's it? Yeah. It's only five minutes. Five minutes. Wow. We have some chili flakes. We like to be some spicy. Oh, wow. Light spicy recipe. Chili flakes. Is this also inspired by Crete? A Cretan dish? No. No? This is an Asian dish. Asian? Asian. Asian. Oh, Aegean. Aegean. Oh, what a difference an accent on a syllable makes. <laughs> <laughs> We have some scallions, we want the flavor of the scallions. Spring onions, people. Spring onions, scallions. Yes. Scallions. yes. Spring onions, yeah. You know the big yellow flower that uh, it looks like a trumpet? It, it opens early in the spring. Yeah. In the north, they call them daffodils. Yeah. In the middle Atlantic states and the south, they're called jonquils. <laughs> I moved to Maryland. Nobody knew what a jonquil was from when, I, when I moved from Maryland to New York. Okay. Now we look at... Uzo. 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 Yeah. Opa. Opa. It's the most uh, well known. But when you add alcoholic things, yes. the alcohol yeah. dissipates. Yeah. So you're left with the flavor. Oh, wait a oh. minute. I'm backing up, everybody. Okay. Here we go. Uh, bravo. Check that out. Oh, it smells wonderful. <laughs> but look how quick. You know, nobody in America has time to do what my mother used to do. You know, start dinner at noon or one in the afternoon and be in the kitchen all day. Nobody has time for that anymore. I mean, you could put all, the whole dinner together in no time. Yeah. And, Tomato cherry. Okay, they're going to see me at the yeah. fish counter in the supermarket. Yeah. Okay, so yes, we, so we put in cherry. olive oil, yeah. we put in onions, we put in minced garlic. Yeah. We put in spring onions. Yes. So we have minced onions and spring onions. Yeah. Okay, scallions. Scallions, yeah. Sliced up. Sliced up. And then we put the shrimp. Yeah. Till it turns pink. Then we throw in the tomatoes. Yeah. And then we have... And then, wait a minute, did we set it on fire before or after the tomatoes? Yeah, fire before the tomatoes. Fire is before the tomatoes, okay. So and now, balsamic? Because got a of okay. okay, so that's... That's, that's, make a bit that's like a splash. I can't even describe that. It's yeah. not enough to be a, yeah. a sixteenth of a teaspoon. It's just a psh, out... Yeah. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. Again, fresh thyme. Fresh thyme. Yeah. Is there a Greek god of cooking? Yeah. <laughs> Is there? We have to find out the name of the Greek god of cooking. Okay. Feta cheese. Yeah. What's a Greek meal without feta cheese? Oh, that's Greek lovely. Paranaki. Ah, that's I know this dish. Yeah. Okay, but when I've had this, it wasn't with spaghetti. It was with no orzo. The little thing, the little, the little. They look like they're like little pasta raindrops. Actually, big raindrops. They're like that big. So now, whole wheat spaghetti. Now, whole wheat spaghetti. Look at that. Yeah, now, I would guess, if you're into gluten-free stuff, that gluten-free spaghetti would go well with this because there's so much flavor from that that it's going to make the gluten-free spaghetti wonderful. All now, now th what did you do with this? Is this 
Uh, excuse me, I have to yes. stick my fingers in here. Hold on. You just said that. It, you yeah, said oops. That. You just said that. Okay, so it's cooked al dente. Yeah. All right. Don't get it too soft or it'll just fall apart, but it's perfect. I mean, you could yeah. eat it the way it is. Yes. That. As you see, no butter, no fresh cream, just, just olive oil, fresh herbs, fresh tomato. All they did have fresh. I can't, put, I can't put this in Alex's hand, so I got to eat this, people. You see? That's it. What a lovely meal. Lovely, healthy, and lean. I have to go home and show up for my son, who is a brilliant cook. Can I see? Can I see? Wow. So, how many minutes do you think that was? Just ten minutes maximum. No, yeah. no, no. The ten minutes was the whole thing. I mean, yeah. just the just the part. Are you just you just minutes. letting the two minutes? Right. Yes, just two letting minutes. it get the yeah. the flavors the and flavor warm up with warm everything. Up, yeah. Got we it. Do, we don't need to cook the spaghetti because okay. after it will become full of it. Oh, look at this! Look at this. It's like spicy, like spicy. That's beautiful. Simple dish. Summer dish, actually. This is summer dish. Well, yeah, you don't even have time to heat your kitchen up. Yeah. With any of this. As you see, we leave the head because the head, there is all the flavor of the stream. So all this stream's liquid consumed it inside the spaghetti. Okay. Beautiful. I have to do this when I go home. Yes, try it. It's amazing dish. It's simple. If you do any of this, go to travelers411.com and scroll on forums. Scroll down until you see Ask Stephanie. And if you go to the top and you click on register, you can give yourself a username and password, which means that you'll be able to write. And drop me a note. Um, if you've made any of the wonderful things, and particularly if you've made this gorgeous dish, As you see, and let me know how it turned out. Rica, no? Oh, how beautiful! Simple. If Maria Loy ever has dinner in my house, and I am forced to cook for a, a, a marvelous, globally known chef, a Greek chef, I will make this. She'll be so impressed with me. That's it. Simple. <laughs> Tree and all. Tree and all. Look at this, people. Isn't that beautiful? Shh, don't tell. We're missing a tomato. There was a tomato there. It jumped into my mouth. So yes. we need to. We don't cook properly. We just need to cook. Oops, I have greasy hands. All right, let me put it back because I don't want anybody to know. I swiped the tomato. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. And then, as they said in the film, Woman on Top, you must share it with someone you love. Thank you so much. This was, this is amazing. I really appreciate your time. Okay, me too. This for you is one of the ah. well-known uh, Greek olive oil. It's one of the best in the world, I can say. Wow. Uh, we really are very proud for our quality. Then maybe yeah, they'll believe me at customs. It really yeah. is oregano <laughs> that I'm bringing across yes. the border. Oh, well, thank you. Aren't you yeah, wonderful? Yeah. Are you free on Thursdays? Can you come to my house? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so very much. Thank you. It's time to eat. What do you say? It's not bon appetit. What do you say? Kali orexi. Kali orexi. Kali orexi. We've got a lot to talk about. Stay tuned for more. How long have you been captain of this ship? Of this ship, I'm, uh, for, this is the fourth season, four years. Wow. How, how long have you been, first of all, how long have you been at sea? In, in the sea, I'm since uh, 1969, 1970. And uh, as uh, master since 1980. Wow. So, the minute you were born, yeah. you knew you were going to be a sailor, a seaman. I was. I like this, and I, I was uh, very. I was living first of all very close to the sea, and uh, since Where? I was very young in Piraeus, 
Since I was very young, I was sailing by sailing boats, you know, I like sea. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Piraeus, Piraeus is the port city of Athens. So, you know, it feels like it's part of Athens because when you leave Athens, you drive and suddenly you're in Piraeus and it doesn't really feel like you left one place and got to another. But that's where all the ships come in. And that's also where the ferries leave from to go to all the islands if you want to just do day trips to places. So you, you actually lived in Piraeus. You saw a lot of ships coming right. and going. Yeah. I, I got you Piraeus, Piraeus, let's say, is the home port of yes. all cruise ships and the uh, liners yes. and ferry boats. So I, what was your first memory as a child of getting excited because ships were coming in and leaving the harbor. So I remember when I was a young boy and I was sailing by sailing boats, I was always watching ships going in and out and I was saying, oh, how, I was very young, you know, oh, how big ship, and at this moment it was not very big, the ships, now they are big. Yeah, well, they've changed dramatically, haven't right. they? Right. But you know, I actually prefer a ship this size to some of the mega ships. Um, I've always described cruising vessels as villages, towns, right. cities, and now we have metropolis, right. <laughs> where you have three to six thousand people on board. And from my point of view, the last, the biggest ship I've ever sailed on, I think, was something like twenty-eight hundred passengers. Right. It was under three thousand passengers. Now there are ships twice that size. Right. And it just feels like you bring your own crowd wherever you go. It takes forever to get off the ship. And if you happen to be in a port where you have to take a tender to port, right. you're not docking in the port, it can take hours yeah. just standing in a line on the ship to get off. And So that's, that's not the way I like to spend my time. I absolutely agree with you. As you said, that uh, on these kind of ships, I mean, maximum 2,000 passengers, you feel more familiar. Yes like a family. That's true. On big ships, you're just a number, you know? Well, it's very weird. Right. You know, often we have sailed seven, seven days or more yeah. on ships. And it's very strange to get off a ship after a week or two or longer and you see faces you didn't see the right. entire time exactly. before. Exactly. Exactly. Like, Who are those people? Where did they come from? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What, this is what I mean. What, what is the capacity of passengers on the ship? On this ship we have 1,600 passengers. Wow. This is the capacity of passengers. And plus 570 crew. Well, you know, but that's really interesting because I, I never checked it. Mm -hmm. yep. And it feels that there is such um, a special effort by the entire team that interfaces with passengers yep. to make everything feel intimate, and friendly and warm and it doesn't feel as big as it is. This is this is the service we offer to our passengers. According to the size of the ship, just because the ship is not very big, we are coming very close with the passengers and they, we try to make them feel like a family. We don't have passengers, we have guests on board. That's beautiful. I am with John Kletos the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Homeric Tours. Well, you're here with a big group. Who are all small enough to choose Homeric Tours. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're all like good, they're like good bartenders. You know, you go to a party. <laughs> Sometimes you wish it didn't. <laughs> it's another story. It's a story for a different, a different show, a different day. <laughs> And we're talking about celestial cruises. Right. Right. 
the desert, so we'll visit two islands in one day, and another island the next day, and another two islands the following day. Uh, but you know, these are the Greek islands that are close together. Yeah. It's not like you have some amazing distance to cover. next week same time same station so good to travel with you this is stephanie abrams travel tv